Uh, hello, I am Tim Rogers. You were watching Kotaku.com, where Stephen Totillo... What am I doing? <laughs> is, is, ...is playing Yoshi's <laughs> Crafted World. So you, like me, might be asking, Yoshi's World has been crafted? I... I, I'm not asking you that, Tim. I, that's that the, what. That's, that's what. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to the viewer. That was the the you <laughs> okay. was the viewer in this case. Okay. So this is. We just jumped immediately into this level. What's it called? Go go Yoshi. Go go Yoshi. Wait, I missed. I thought I hit that. Yoshi is going and going. You know what this reminds me of? Did you ever play uh, any of those Goemon games? Gone by a Goemon on the uh, Super. Mm -hmm. No, I know there was Famicom. one for 64 that when I was star for games, I considered it. But it's yeah. that, that one was okay. The, the vintage ones on the Super Nintendo were great. So what was cool about those oh, was they had these giant robot levels. And uh, I'm wondering if the Japanese name of this level is Ganbare Yoshi, because that would mean go, go, Yoshi. Okay, so we're, we're, we're showing people like a totally not indicative version of uh, the Yoshi's Crafted it's World. It's some weird robot minigame. How does it say I keep missing Like it? the Goemon Impact in Goemon. Man, these graphics are good, though. Do you want to tell people what we're doing, Tim? You're just punching and jumping in a robot? We, we can only record clips of three minutes in length. Yeah. So we're going to, and we can record ten of them. You got a timer going, right? And I have a timer going. We have one minute and 25 seconds in. Look how everything yeah, looks like level. it's made of paper. This is like, this is rock solid, solid gold footage. Well, not just paper. These are toilet paper tubes here. These yeah, they're toilet paper tubes with the little, paper, paper towels. little splits, paper towel tubes. Oh, did I finish the level already? And punch that door. Knock, knock. Bang, bang on the door, baby, as they would say. Oh, these blocks are very inspired. So yeah, Yoshi's Craft of World, a new game on the Switch, and uh, we're able to preview it today with the early copy we have from Nintendo. But they have restrictions, as Nintendo tends to do. I miss that flower. Um, oh. And this one is 30 minutes of footage, max, but only in three-minute increments. So yeah. here we are. We're, we're going to make the most of the, uh, the embargo. <laughs> we're going to do 10 three-minute increments. Now, we could play this co-op, yeah. right? I, I, I don't think we can get a full 10 out of that. Look at the, look at the texture whoa, whoa. on the rubber band that's that's powering his little, his look, little look punch buster. Look how many buster. coins we have right now. Oh. We had 108. Oh, we had 108 coins. Yeah. Now it's now it's ruined. It special for you, Tim. Is there a way to give those guys you. a couple of coins? Go, go, Yoshi. Yoshi went and he went and he reached the goal. Okay, so we didn't even use up a full three. That was those that two level. minutes and All thirty right. seconds. We're gonna. I think Ooh. we did good. Um, look at that nice cardboard texture. I didn't get, I didn't get anything. These menus look nice. Look at that cloth. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Everything is made out of something. It's, well, it is Yoshi's crafted world, Tim Rogers. Is it not a little sad that his world isn't just a world, that it, like, clearly there's a hand of a maker? And look at that pull tab. I, I, I pointed this out. It's giving me my Amazon.com. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Three minutes. All right. Three minute segment number two. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to look at the, uh, the overworld and the map this time, Tim, in segment two. So it's like a lot of um, Mario platformers, Mario universe platformers in that overworld, various themed areas. This is as far as I've got, and they actually won't let us show a ton of it for, yeah, for the there, preview purposes. There was They always put the name of, a, of an event or yeah. something in, in the embargo telling you don't play past this level. Yeah. So and now I know the name of a level later in the game. You can't so. freely roam around this, so you are on a path, as you can see. Yeah, um, and he's riding a little train. Well, that's because I'm in a train costume. Your current... Oh, I'll okay. show you that in a little bit. But um, Yoshi is really just like a little dinosaur guy like he always is. And you have different outfits that you can put on, which is part of the whole crafting thing, right? So you saw the yeah. level we just played. Everything looked like it was made out of crafting materials. The world, too. So Are those straws together. or stir sticks? Like, what are those? The boat there, yeah, it looks like it's got some straws on it, right? I love a good straw. Can't get straws in New York anymore at restaurants, some restaurants. Uh, oh, this guy wants to talk to me. Or you have to, to ask for it. They don't bring them to you. All oh, crinkled paper balloon here. So Okay, so yeah, the, when you talk to people in the overworld, they will ask you to do extra things. Like, hey, can you go back into a level and find me something? So you keep calling it an overworld, but is it not more accurate to call it an overcrafted world? <laughs> I'm supposed to laugh. At this yeah, point. that was a good one. <laughs> so wait, oh, Yoshi has an oh, Yoshi yeah. has oh, an we're, island, we're and to, we're going to a whole new uh, whole new zone right here. Oh, well, you're I, wiped I, out. I have ten smiley flowers. Oh, By the way, how are we doing on the three minutes? Oh, now? we're doing real good. We're in one minute. We got one minute and twenty seconds left on this three minutes. Okay, good. I'm giving flowers. So they gate it, right? You yeah. go into every level. And people will remember this from the original Yoshi's Island. There's a lot to collect in that game. Red coins, flowers, and then the little, the little stars. Hearts. The heart things are stars. 
that are counted towards like you not having taken damage and basically getting through the level intact. So you are collecting a lot of stuff in this game as well, and you'll see that when we go into more of the traditional you can, levels. You can just see his bare butt out the back of that oh, train. Nice. Look at that. I like how that opened up. He's not even... Uh, it's like they can't even make the train costume look real. You're just looking at his at his butt. I don't know what constitutes a real looking. I think it should be costume. at least closed up, so it feels like if I were a kid and I were pretending to make a train, I would make it closed up in the back. That's just me though. That, yeah, that's just you. Is that um, Poochie? There's Poochie over there. I like that little guy. Yeah. So we're gonna go to another level again in Act Three. Yeah, we're gonna kick it into another level. Okay, let's go. We're on Act Three. Yoshi has a crafted world, and an island, and a woolly world. That's just a little bit greedy, if you ask me. That was my joke. Um, we'll, we'll be back so in part three. <laughs> okay. Chapter three. All right, we're in a level. I just did this level a little bit before we started recording. And this is the level where they introduce you to uh, Poochie the dog, who is a recurring Yoshi character, right? Yeah, he is, uh, he is beloved. Poochie? Yes, he's beloved. He's actually a very well-designed character. He looks cool. So, um, oh, that was brutal. You recognize a lot of familiar mechanics in terms of Yoshi games, the main one being stick out your tongue to turn enemies into eggs, or just hit one of these blocks and get eggs that way. Um, and then shoot the eggs. Now, one of the things that's different is that in the earlier games, you basically would have this arc for the target. Right? Yeah, and you had to wait for in it this, to... In this case, just think of it as a free-moving cursor, right? So this is just a mouse pointer cursor or whatever. And so I can point it on, say, this... Um, cloud here, I think. Whoops. Pop it wide. It's a cloud made out of cotton balls. And then I can I'll kill that punk. Guy. Those gold coins are so shiny compared to everything else in the See world. That? I was going through rubber bands right there. Yeah, that was cool. So that's a, just the basics of how you might uh, how the shooting works in this game. But the other aspect of that is that anything I highlight, I can shoot, including enemies in the background oh my god he's just minding his own business as a bystander hey there's a guy that's yeah. the that that sheep yeah. is dead the coins are so shiny it kind of freaks me out yeah. i actually really liked that rubber band platform that was over there because you always wonder sometimes in these platform games why can i jump up through the bottom of a platform and there they have it explained in the world of the game it's so part of what you're doing when you're playing the game and i this i feel like this might become divisive to players is you're trying to discern what is actually um, targetable within your eggs and which isn't. So ah. you, it's a little bit weird because you only have 2D range of movement across the screen, right? Yeah. But the cursor is sort of smartly decide, determining let me get the guy, um, what can be interacted with. So you'll see that as I go through this level, as much as we can do in the three minutes that we were allotted. You have 55 minute seconds remaining. Oh, uh, Oh my god, those guys just keep getting killed by that stuff. Well, it's rough in the Mario universe. Oh, so there's a th thing down there, so... Okay, I can't resist. Does every level kind of feel like you're like in somebody's like playroom or whatever? Because you can see oh, these, got these red coins. curtains and like some sort of hobby table in the background with like more stuff on it. This is the one I hadn't gotten through before, Tim, so I'm excited. I need to not hit this guy. Yeah, so far the levels all do seem like they're... In somebody's some basement. Other, yeah. Somebody's mom's basement. Somebody's really weird basement. Okay, so let's... Because once you knock these guys down, they no longer... Wait, what's this about? I don't get it. Wait, what? You have, you have seven seconds. Okay, to be continued. To be continued in the next clip. Did you just die? That's <laughs> yes, on purpose. So, Tim, I want to show you something here in... What are we in? Act... Act, this is this act is four. Act Four, wow. Chapter Four. What a saga! What a saga we're going through. Yeah, here. this is good. So you can go through a level in a traditional way, and I want to show you this on the screen here. You can be searching for the flowers, and you see that at the top, which is Tape Trail. This is the level people just saw in Act Three. You get four out of seven. And when I first went through it, I got four out of the seven flowers. Plus, I got another flower for getting more than hundred coins. Another flower for getting twenty out of the twenty uh, heart sort of life counter things that you get by the end. Um, but I did not get all the red coins, so I didn't get a, uh, a flower for that. And you saw in one of the, our earlier acts that you were then using flowers to unlock new areas. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other things happening. There's um, NPC characters, there's buddy allies, whoever, who are saying, hey, can you get me special things? Can you shoot eggs at special things? So you see there's a crown there, and there's this guy asking me if I can shoot at the crown. I don't know what shoot actually happens when you do that. But there's more and more of those ha coming up as I play through levels. People saying, oh, can you go find me this thing in the, in the level? 
On top of all that, and this is something that was first shown, I think, back at E3, it's a thing called the flip side. So even notice what's happening here in the image. Yeah. We saw just now the me going through the traditional front side of the course, but we can then go and play in the opposite direction. Oh, and you can see the tape on the back of the clouds. Exactly. Stuff like that. So That's we'll, a little bit of little bit of man behind the curtain. Yeah. So you were thinking about like the environment that the level was set in, and you actually see more of that here. You can so, see the identity of everything. So I'm going through what was the goal, um, the sort of like there's a tape here that I went through and I finished the level going through the other side. And so now I'm going reverse. So what people didn't get to see was the entire way that the main level plays out. If you did, and then you immediately went to the flip side here, you would be recognizing, oh yeah, I went through this path in the other direction, I unfurled a lot of these bridges and pathways and stuff like that. Here, you won't see that, but you can kind of, I think, infer visually how that would have worked. You s get a sense, I hope, that we're kind of behind things. You're seeing like the labels on boxes and stuff like that. Yeah. And Some of the labels like, look like they're in English. Some of them look like they're not, which is wild. Yeah, I love that sort see, of thing. You mentioned the tape on the clouds. You can yeah. see that up there. Notice I can't target that, and I was talking about that before. You know, what? what's the rhyme or reason for what can be targeted and what can't be? Like here, we can target those things. Um, yeah, I think that seems a little flaky, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, and, that, and that's a little bit, like, I could see myself getting frustrated if I play, through, you know, a lot of this game and I'm wanting to 100% levels. It'll bring me back to, you know, those days when I'm playing a point-and-click game and I would be, you know, just basically mashing on every part of the screen or tapping on every part of the screen or with my cursor or with whatever it would be at the time. You know, just what is the thing I can interact with and what can I interact with? And that can be that can make for some clumsy gameplay experiences. It's just all up to the game designer. Yeah. So you can see the the boxes, the cornflakes here. Some uh oh, we've got to stop. <laughs> Act five. Yeah. The fifth part of this. Yeah. So I want to show you something, Tim. You were talking about the the train thing that he's running. I was telling you it was a costume. Oh. There's a whole thing going on here. So notice I've been gaining coins, acquiring coins throughout all the missions. So what you do in each of the themed worlds that you're in is you go to the gumball machine and you're trying to get better costumes. So let's go and do that. So this te in Gogo Land, which is only, there's only two missions at Gogo Land so far that I've seen, two, two world levels. Um, but we can go and try to get any of 10 different types of costumes. Isn't that kind of weird that there's only two levels in a world? It doesn't seem right, does yeah, it? Yeah, I wonder if more will unlock. But you are to be able to do the flip side of each of the levels, so that arguably doubles the count. Anyway, 100 coins um, conveniently. Oh, this is good. Is it? What, what makes you say this is good? It's like sort of like randomized like. This loop. music is just is just weirding me out. It's making me feel weird. Yeah, this this music's a little aggressive and disturbing. Okay, so what do we get? The swirly snail. Oh, who is wants that a to? Costume? We can dress as that. It's okay. rare. Okay, let's dress as that. So wait, was everything in the gumball machine, uh, or the gotcha machine, or whatever it is, was it all ranked in terms oh, of that. rare so and just, super rare? Yes, but I have not There's, gotten a duplicate yet, so I want to see if it actually happens. Is there no such thing as like a, a normal thing, or they, is it all oh, just wait, rare? None of them were normal. <laughs> we'll go yeah, ahead. I didn't see anything that said normal or common or whatever. They want everything to be special, maybe. It's everybody no, gets to be normal. the special big go. boy. Here's Yellow normal. truck. Normal. I love trucks. <laughs> yes. I'm a big truck fan. Yeah, my, my two-year-old son and daughter are really into trucks, too. You'd, you'd love them. Oh, well, tell them about this new game coming out called Truck Hack. I will. That's right. You're the truck guy that way, too. Okay. Love trucks. So I've yet to get a duplicate. Maybe this will be my first duplicate. Oh, you got a white sheep? No, it's rare. I don't understand what's going on. Unless I already had that? How are we doing on time, by the way? Three minutes. Oh, yeah, we're, we're got, we got a minute here. and 50 seconds. We've got one minute and 10 seconds left. Notice, by the way, um, if I look up here, or you look up here, see how it says swirly snail or yeah. rare and then four things? Oh. So that's actually armor. So this this stuff is this stuff is all protective. So I don't know why you would ever run around how did just you, Yoshi. How did you get the train? Do you just the same way you got everything else? Yeah, it was just like from the first level. And how, I was like, oh my God, it's like, the, a, like super rare. And it was the first thing I got. Maybe I maybe the this, game is messing with you and it gave you something super rare just to make you feel good. No, I, I know, but I also like don't like I don't get the whole scarcity thing happening here because I don't think I've gotten any duplicates yet. Maybe I'll get finally get a duplicate. I love that little editing, that little cut from the 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 machine jiggling to the thing popping out. Oh, super rare. You did it. Is this No. Derby sheep. I thought the sheep would be wearing a hat. Should I keep going? I don't know how many coins I have. Yeah, you just got do one more. We'll do one more. Yeah. We've got we 17 seconds. Oh, Here we go. We twist, time. twist, on, jiggle, come on, come on. pop. Zoom oh, out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to make it? This music is driving me <laughs> wild. <laughs> I love it. Yay, it's blue a blue-roofed house. house. It's normal. It's normal. 
Oh no, that's it. We're out of time. Wow, look at this. Is this Yoshi's Island? Do you like this? There's the yeah. colored Yoshis hanging out. I like out. this. They're all just hanging out. Do you know anything about Yoshi shoe colors and what determines like why no, orange guys it's, in blue and it's, blue guys in pink shoes? It looks as though it might be choosing the color that's the exact opposite on the color wheel is what it looks like. Yoshi uh, games yellow tend and green opposite? These are not. Um yeah. So get out their color wheels. So yeah, we're just chilling here in this oh, we could change costumes again, by the way, if you want. You can change costumes? <laughs> oh, is you gonna be a fish or a truck? Yeah, let's uh, go maybe we should yeah, let's be the truck. Oh no, we're oh we're putting everybody in costumes. That's what we're doing. Let's, oh wow. <laughs> you can just dress your Yoshis Tim, up. <laughs> Tim and Steven's dress up Yoshi corner here. Even even the cursor is made out of cardboard. Couldn't anything in this game just be made of the stuff one would expect it to be made of? Which is meat. Well, I think that this uh, this bottle cap looks like it's made out of plastic, don't you think? When are they going to release Yoshi's Yakiniku world where everything is made out of just marbleized beef? Do you... <laughs> right? Do you, do you at all feel like Little Big Planet maybe has partially stolen this game's thunder because we've seen kind of crafted type worlds? Yeah, it, it's it's interesting for something to have stolen a game's thunder like a decade, <laughs> a decade before. <laughs> the game. It's like you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, they 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 put the thunder on layaway. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what they would call that. What do you what do you think of them all dressed up in these ridiculous outfits right here? I'm gonna go ahead and admit it. I love the Yoshi character design. I love this cool plasticky texture on that paint palette. I think it's a paint palette back there. But I think these outfits. I gotta say, they make Yoshi look kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, come on. I like him. I, li I like the train. The train's Orange, great. Okay, the train is pretty the train good. Is okay. This is a really great act, this act. I don't know what you know. There's got to be like a sports car it's Yoshi really as oh, well. Oh, by the way, we're, uh, we're, trying to get, we're trying to fill out this uh, central thing by clearing worlds. We'll get gems, and gems will bring some power back to Yoshi's crafted world. And you have what? Zero or one? Zero. Zero. zero? zero. Okay, I couldn't tell zero. if the white part was a gem. No. There aren't Sorry. any white gems. No, nothing yet. There's diamonds. Those are clear. Okay. End act. That's the end. That's the end of our two-minute segment. Okay, we're starting with uh, act uh, seven. Yeah, I think for the next couple of acts, we should just do le or just traditional levels and just let people see the game in action. Oh, these good. Koopas are made of Yeah, we should do that. Oh, look how the platform jiggles. It's on a string. This looks wonderful on a large television. Oh, this is the, that's the thing I have a bounty for or whatever, is that thing down there. Oh, that plate? Yeah. Is that a, like a, a stingray made out of a plate? See what happened. Yeah, see, I did it. See, I, I you did it. See, I, I have a. Oh, you see the thing hidden back there? Oh, yeah. Oh, get some stuff. Those coins are really shiny. I just want to say oh, again. that coin? Okay, sorry. So, I, I have enough, distinct enough memories of myself as a child to know that if this game had come out when I was like 10 years old, yeah. or okay, let's say 12 and I'd played Mario World already, I would have felt weird about this game what? essentially telling you every second, oh, none of this stuff is real. I would have felt weird about that. That's just me though. Because it's like, it's like, oh, this is made out of cardboard. This is made out of an egg carton. This is a milk carton or whatever. It's just, it's like everything in here is a, uh, it's a video game. Oh, can you throw the... Oh, there there you have it. Yeah, but I already had that one. Yeah, but you get it again and you get the yay. Feel the yay. So again, like, not interactable right here, the blue thing. Uh, the blue shell back there, but whatever it is. But yes to the... Maybe the logic is that the stuff that's cardboard can be interacted with? I don't know. Yeah. So you know that, like, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, the whole subtext there is that it's a play. That's why everything is like in front of a, there's like a drop shadow yeah, on don't it. Don't people clap for you at times? Or, or and that's in New Super Mario Brothers. That's like got a game show atmosphere. So Mario games having uh, some uh, aesthetic that says this is all made up. First Smash Bros was uh, took place in a toy box. It was action figures of <gasps> Yoshi was gonna get hurt. God, the sound of hitting those guys is so brutal. It sounds like they got, like, really owned. Is that a crab uh, made out of a red cup uh, back this, there? This, this, uh, this act is going to bring out a lot of complaints about my, my playing skills here. I think, Tim. Oh, I think it's okay. Let's just go ahead and say, disclaimer, this is kind of a baby's game. 
And how uh, does that help my case? If you no no if you're if you're worried about if, if you're trying to play this game on a high level, I think you need to just chill. So oh, I think so I, I think have, messing I around the, in, in this game is cool. Yeah, I should have tried to get the shell though to go back this way. This game's a leisurely stroll in the park. Oh, it's not go. a it's not speed Take skating like every other game. Oh, that's three minutes. All right, here we are. This level's called Pirate Pier. I already got those coins up there, so I'm actually gonna skip past stuff I already got here uh, to the best I can. Recall. You're gonna show us what pro play looks like. No, I'm gonna actually just see if I can get stuff I don't have yet. So, like, you see, I'm missing the fifth flower. I don't know if yeah. I can get there in our allotted three minutes. I'm not exactly. You can gonna probably do it. How game. long are these levels? Oh, do I, I don't know if I got this thing. Oh, blue coins. I mean, these graphics are really sweet. I, I keep saying that. I like the the weird, blurry depth of field effect. You know, remember these guys from Yoshi's Island, right? Oh yeah, these guys are Very hilarious. Classic. What's he made of, though? Is he made of glue? Jelly. Hot glue. So there's some foreground and background stuff going on in the game as well. Um, Press up and down to go up and down. Oh, I think I know where the where the flower is that I, that I missed. So let me just this is good. We're gonna get it. Uh, I don't know. Oh no. <gasps> I thought Yoshi was gonna die. I, I always think he's gonna drop baby Mario. And then you don't have baby Mario, so. Yeah, but Just, also, see, because I'm wearing this costume, I actually don't lose my little heart guys when I take a hit. Ah, uh, well, that's cheating. So, yeah, it, it, traditionally in Yoshi games, you take a single hit, and it can ruin all the great success that you've been building. Yoshi's Island, uh, the original Yoshi's Island, was outright brutal about that. Like,. Yeah, that was a very strict action game. Oh no, I'm out of. Oh, oh no, I'm not. It's weird that Yoshi's <laughs> Island was, I, was like that was the flower that I needed. That was the flower. So how do you feel about this design, where I had to go back through the entire level to take another? Just to have another yeah. shot at that little, yeah. little uh, I mean, shooting shame gallery. Shame on me for missing it. It wasn't that hard. I'll, I'll admit that just looking at it, I didn't immediately understand where exactly you were supposed to point the cursor. But I would have to go through the whole level again. Anyway, that's the flower that I missed. So we're getting a sense of how this level works, right? Yeah. So let's go through. Can you throw an egg at that idiot there? Oh, yeah, of I have to to get through. Oh, you need. That's why they give you eggs right over there. Yeah. So there's just an egg dispenser right by where you're supposed to, uh, where you have to use an egg. It's not Yoshi's Impossible World. It's Yoshi's Crafter World. Well, I mean, all I'm saying is, the first Yoshi platform game, Yoshi's Island, was a notoriously difficult game. And then the every other game. game of all time, though, right? Is it your favorite game? Second favorite. Second? What's your number one? Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. I love Yoshi's Island. Yeah, a new and idea then, every level. Amazing. And then every other Yoshi platform game is uh, it's childish. Yeah, you, uh, Yoshi's Island, you get the skiing level, the rock the rock rolling level, you get the the you're on drugs level, you get the Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy. Yeah, you, you get the and then you get Yoshi's story, oh, you get Yoshi's cut here, Woolly cut here, World. Cut, cut. Here we go, let's go, go for it. Okay, so we are now doing the flip side of the level that we just saw. So yeah, we were just here. We were on the other side of it though, and now we're looking, we're listening and looking for the Poochie pups. Yeah, because those little guys are out there, and they need our help, uh, or they'll die. They will literally die if we do not save them. Don't you think we would have encountered one before the first checkpoint? This is bad. Yeah, I feel like you would have. So maybe I needed to have hit one of these guys. You see the whole reverse thing. Wait, do you? You can see the backs of some of these things. Super popcorn? Yeah, do you remember being here before? Is that blueberry super popcorn? What? Blueberry popcorn? Oh, I heard one. Oh, I heard one, yeah. I heard a little yapping. Are those the uh, coffee creamer packets? You know what I call coffee creamer packets? I call them little buckets. There oh, there he is. He's not really hiding. Oh, where'd he go? Hey, where'd he go? He's not really hiding at all. He's just oh, there. You go. You got him. Oh, that was the first one too. Oh, good. Okay. That convenient Nintendo user-friendly UI. So, what do you think of seeing the reverse of the level here? Are you, do you now that you've seen the leveling of the direction? Is it like, do you, do you like that idea? I, I like the idea of being able to maximize my platform game levels, especially when you imagine that a jump could be harder, and you couldn't go in here before, right? Okay. So what do you think? Wait, how do you get in there? Ooh. A new good. little buddy. That's good. 
Did I? Oh, so the egg hit that switch. That's that's why I opened up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Come on. <laughs> one more Poochie pup remains. You have one minute and eight seconds to find the final well, Poochie pup. I also get a special reward if I can get through this level in three minutes or less. So. It's like they've designed this knowing the, their own embargo restrictions. Yeah, it's like they... That was uh, a waste of time right there going that way. It's like they knew exactly what they were doing. You hear the, you hear the pup? I don't hear any I don't hear any pups. I think he might already be dead. We gotta get him. We gotta rescue him, Tim. Come on. Oh, oh there he is. That's not hidden at all. Yeah, eat him. Oh. <gasps> uh. Uh-oh. Oh, heck. Wait, what's happening? Yeah, what just happened? Oh, he just ducked under there. Do you, have to, do you have to duck walk through there? You have 20 seconds. I'm trying. I'm trying to get to the finish line here. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Can I well, this is Yoshi speed running. <gasps> Break the tape. The... Oh, my God. You can also throw the pups at people, by the way. Does it, does it kill the pups? No, they come back. Oh, in the end. All right, now we're here in a level called Minecart Cave. All right. First of all, more like your cart cave. Second of all, more like Minecraft Cave. Minecrafted World. Yoshi's Crafted World. We're back I just had to a Chapter sense. 10. I just had a sense that there was stuff up there. And there was a little bit. Oh, what's happening here? So we're, uh, this is the most recent level that you've unlocked oh. in your play of the game so far. Oh, look at that. Oh, use those bombs. So some of the stuff, I, I can't immediately tell what it's made out of. Do you think he's going to explode in his mouth? I think so. No, he's not exploding his mouth. You think I can blow this up? No. No. That's just an overturned vehicle. I think when they make the platforms, when they make everything in the world look like it's made out of something, you then start to question. You know, you start to assess, like, what's the importance of this? Yeah. Is this an important thing or just a platform? This is why I prefer, I'm just going to say, I prefer the the abstractness of uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 to this. So, has Nintendo made a platform game better than Super Mario Bros. 3 with Yoshi's Crafted World? No. Not from where I'm sitting. <laughs> we haven't gone through it. It could become a classic as we get further in. That is true. Never I'm mind. enjoying I, what I played I, so far. I reserve but... my judgment then. So just, we, we didn't say this at all, but this game is made by Good Feel. Um, they Good made... Feel, yeah. They made uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn and also Yoshi's Woolly World. They make them with Nintendo, but it's a it's an outside studio, and they definitely are big on having unusual aesthetics in their games, and therefore their games are very interesting graphically. They haven't been quite as strong gameplay wise, although I found Kirby's Epic Yarn to be pretty fun. Yeah. But I also found that the games were most rewarding if you cared about looking for hidden stuff, as opposed to yeah. being games that that are about the sort of pleasure of like skillful platforming and the challenge of you know i mean I don't, I don't mean it as an insult when i say that it's a good game for children I don't understand where right I, where did the... because uh when, when i was a kid i loved I, I i beat the original metroid when i was a kid and oh, the only God. reason was i just loved poking around looking around at stuff you know just like seeing what's in this what's in this map what's in this area what can i find yeah, and so this this game uh, definitely continues to push that idea that, hey, maybe part of the essence of the Yoshi platformer is collecting things and basically having to find where in a level all the collectible things are hidden. Yeah, I, I call it a hangout game. It's, it's hangout level design. You're just chilling out in the level and looking for stuff and enjoying the graphics. And I've seen enough Kickstarters to know that people pay for graphics. You know, I mean, no offense to Kickstarters, but uh, this game would get kickstarted. I mean, uh oh, that's it. We're done. Uh, uh, nice showing you the game, everyone. Bye.